So this is the setting we're dealing with for today's video. It's a nice little golf course, guys. And look, there's a nice little table and chairs as well. Oh, lovely. Steve Bruce would be proud of this one, wouldn't he? My God. What's going on, guys? It's Callum Vale here from Old Tevin TV. Hey, we'll do him. Welcome back to another video. And this is my top 10 favourite away days of last season. Coming in at number 10, guys, it is going to be Rotherham United. Now, this game was fantastic, you know. 1-0 down, three penalties. Don't get me wrong, the referee was absolutely awful in that game as well. And to be honest, I think we showed great fight in the second half as well, scoring. I think it was two goals in five minutes. Jack really scored one of the best goals and he got the goal of the season as well, funny enough. And it was brilliantly deserved. I mean, it was a fantastic goal. And the atmosphere was unbelievable as well. Considering it was Rotherham United away on a Wednesday night, the fans were unbelievable. And, you know, the concourse was electric. <laughs> Number nine, guys, it is going to be the Tigers Hall City. This away day was absolutely fantastic as well, and one I definitely recommend. And yeah, going in the pub before the game, great fans, nice friendly, nice friendly people up in Yorkshire as well. Driving um, from Swaddling Coat to Hull, it was a brilliant, brilliant away day, and probably three of the most unlikely goal scorers in that game as well. And I think we could have got probably. Probably five in that game we played that well as well. 1-0 down as well. Great away day. Brilliant atmosphere for the first game of the season. That was Hall City at the KCOM Stadium. Coming in at number eight, guys, it is going to be the Potters Stoke City. Now, yeah, never been to the Bet365 Stadium until last season. And, yeah, the away day was, a, was pretty surprisingly decent, to be honest. And I know I've seen videos of us Villa fans going down there to um, the Britannia as well. And the atmosphere has been pretty decent, so I thought I'd go down to um, Stoke City for that day. It was a nice little drive, a nice hour and a half, and yeah, I think the atmosphere was just brilliant, you know. The concourse was amazing, there was flares, there was everything you would expect for a great away day. <laughs> Seven. This is going to shock you. It's going to be Reading. Now, Reading was a nice modern stadium. It was about the same amount of distance as it is to get to Stoke City, about an hour and a half, I'd say. And yeah, Reading was a really good away day as well. Great stadium. The concourse was great. Probably one of the fullest parts of the stadium was us Villa fans. We were running about 2,000 that day. Even though it was a nil nil draw, it was still a great away day, so that was Reading. Coming in at number six, it's going to be Wigan. Now, you're probably thinking, Callum, what the fuck's going on there? But, to be honest, I really, really enjoyed it. Now, for those of you who don't know, my mum worked at Wigan years ago. And I went there a few years ago when we won 2 nil, And the atmosphere was brilliant as well. And I think it was a day after St. Patrick's Day as well. So, yeah, the, the atmosphere was brilliant for that game as well. But the 3-0 loss, regardless, it was a really good away day. And the concourse, I'll put a clip in now. <laughs> Just absolutely mental, and yeah, one away day with sticks in my head just for them moments, man. And we was right at the very top of Wigan as well. Nice little view, great fans that day. But if only we would have won, that would have probably been up in number one. It was that good, so that was Wigan. Coming in at number five, it is going to be Nottingham Forest, and we've got a little bit of rivalry of Nottingham Forest as well with us both winning the European Cup. And it's an away day which I really look forward to. And I went there on a Wednesday night as well with my dad. It, the away day was brilliant and it was the birth of the whole Tevin TV song. <laughs> And we absolutely dominated that game. We won 3 1. John McGinn could have got a hat trick. He scored two goals that day. It was just a brilliant day out as well. And Nottingham was bouncing as normal, you know. Literally, I was walking down the street, yeah, in Nottingham Centre. And literally, there were girls in stockings when I was getting my subway in the fucking subway shop. Like, what the fuck's going on there? So, Nottingham Forest was a pretty decent day out for Callum. So, yeah, that was Forest. This is where it gets nitty and gritty. So, number four, it is going to be Sheffield Wednesday away. This away day was incredible, you know. And the concourse was probably one of the best concourses I've ever seen, you know. I was getting involved, everyone was pushing me, everyone was squashing me, it was just fucking insane. And the 
game. Sheffield Wednesday fucking battered us. The away day was just one I remember instantly, you know, and Adoma getting the goal and then Abraham soon after getting another goal straight from um, Sheffield Wednesday's kickoff after getting the second goal as well. And I mean, yeah, this away day I would recommend. So that was Hillsborough guys, nice away day. 4,500 Villa fans that day. Right then guys, so the next away day is going to be West Bromwich Albion away, the local derby at the Hawthorns. And on the two occasions that I've gone, the atmosphere has just been phenomenal. And I know it's been a sellout on both of those games at the Hawthorns. And I and only came to see the Villa that day as well. But, you know, the concourse was brilliant. And also, just the atmosphere in general. Villa fans were really loud that day, considering we had 2,000 fans as well. And the shootout for the playoff semi-final second leg, that was just amazing to beat them in the way that we bet them, really. And to be honest, I think we... We did deserve to come away with the win in the end as well. So, yeah, that was West Bromwich Albion. So, it's going to come down to the final away days of the season. The final two, it is going to be Birmingham City away in the second city derby. This is my first time going down to Blues away. And what a time to go down there and watch us win. We won 1-0. Jack really is getting on the score sheet. And to be honest, I think it was written in the star stream really to score that goal after what happened with the um, Paul Mitchell punch as well. So, yeah, guys, it was a great away day. One of the best I've ever experienced as well. So, yeah, that was Blues away. So, the number one away day has to be Middlesbrough away at the Riverside Stadium. Now, a little bit of backstory behind um, this away day in, in general, really. I had a 10-hour flight to get to Middlesbrough from where I was at the time. I was at Goa, from, as you know. Um, that's where I lived beforehand. And it was a 10-hour flight. And we were four and a half hours in front. So, it was a 2 a.m. Two, um, two flight, I think it was, at the time as well. And we got there at about 8 o'clock in the morning and we were four and a half hours in front. So I got there in time for the game. It was so worth it in the end, you know. And yeah, 3-0. And I got recognised as well by some of the fans as well. First time I ever got recognised as a YouTuber. The concourse was amazing. They sung my Dean Smith had a dream song for the first time I actually heard. It was a brilliant moment for me as well. And yeah, that was Middlesbrough away. So that was the top. 10 away days of last season guys thanks for watching up the villa and i'll see you in the premier league come on the boys oh heaven tv 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 oh heaven tv